today we're going to be doing our insect repellent lab. We have most of our setup done already. We have our ice bath already pre-situated. We have our Erlenmeyer flask that has our pre-weighed diol. Uh, the procedures say to use 10 millimoles of diol. If you could please calculate for me how much uh, diol that is in grams or in milliliters. You should have come up with at least 1.4 grams of diol or 1.55 milliliters of diol. So we have uh, pre-weighed our diol using a graduated cylinder. You can also do this by weight. So that's already in our flask. We also have our separatory funnel already pre-set up. We are going to add our three milliliters of glacial acetic acid into our Erlenmeyer flask. And during this time, we have a stir bar in our Erlenmeyer flask that is stirring in our ice bag. So once that is added, we're going to use our separatory funnel and lower it into our Erlenmeyer flask. And we're gonna end up putting 32 milliliters of bleach is what we have uh, measured out in our graduated cylinder. Uh, so Dan is going to use a funnel to add the bleach. Once that's been situated, we're going to open our stop cot to just drop wise. Uh, this way, our bleach will be added into our reaction at a drop rise rate for about four to five minutes. A few moments later. So it's actually been about five minutes. As you can see, there is no more bleach in our separatory funnel. Uh, so now we will remove the Erlenmeyer flask from the ice bath. And as you can see here, once the water bath has been removed, the solution has become very cloudy and white. And then you're gonna stir it for an hour at room temperature. And you want to make sure that it is stirring vigorously and then during this one hour period about every 10 minutes or so we will be taking our starch iodine paper and we will be testing to make sure that it makes a positive test so the starch paper will go blue uh, we'll come back to you in about 10 minutes time to show you the first edition um, and then we will keep continuing this for about an hour so it's been 10 minutes, so what we're going to do is take our glass stir rod, stick it into the solution, and then take it and dab it onto the end of the paper. And you see here that it goes black pretty instantly. So our first test is complete. We are good to let it go and continue for another 10 minutes before we do our next test. One hour later. We are on our final starch test. Our starch test is negative. We want to add one mil of sodium biosulfite, one milliliter at a time until our starch paper no longer turns blue. So for us, that was two mils. So we've used two mils of biosulfite and we have a clear test. So we can go ahead and move on to our uh, three molar sodium hydroxide, which gets added one mil at a time until red litmus paper is basic.
Oh, there we go. So it's hard to see on the video, but basically the litmus paper has turned blue and we have used 15 milliliters of our hydroxide. So now we can take our reaction mixture and put it into our separatory funnel uh, with six grams of sodium chloride, which we have pre-weighed out. We put that in the separatory funnel and then you stop her and shake it to dissolve the salt. So once our salt is dissolved, we're actually going to be using dichloromethane for our extraction, not diethyl ether. Uh, so we're going to put 20 mils of dichloromethane into our SEP funnel and perform an extraction. Once our first extraction is complete, we have drained our DCM layer into an Erlenmeyer flask. We're going to repeat the process with another 20 mils of dichloromethane. So once our layers are separated, we can dispense our second DCM layer into our previous DCM layer, and then we can use sodium sulfate as our drying agent in this case to dry our DCM.
And remember, we do not want our drying agent to clump. So as soon as it does not clump, you're good to go. So now that we have our solution dried, we're going to do a gravity filtration to remove the drying agent to where we want to make sure that the Erlenmeyer flask that you're going to be filtering into has a weight. And the weight of that flask is 83.26 grams. Once our solution has been gravity filtered, we're going to evaporate off the DCM. A few moments later. All right, so our DCM has finally finished evaporating. We can take it off the hot plate. There's not that much liquid left. It's a very small amount. It's hard to see in there, but it's there. Um, so at this point, we're gonna take a weight of our liquid. So we've weighed our flask. Our flask weight with the liquid in it is 84.63 grams. Uh, we are not doing the distillation. We are not doing the purification part of the procedure, uh, but we are going to do the IR. Uh, so we're going to take an IR spectrum for you. Here's our IR spectrum for you guys. Uh, it'll be labeled and attached at the end of this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching our um, lab for today and I guess until next time, goodbye.